Joe Wall, back with part two, all right? Again, a response, you know, about the other nations, all right? That you all need to stop worrying about them, all right? And then we're going to get into uh, the debunking of the black Hebrew Israelites, all right? Anyway, this is Exodus 21 and 16. And he that stealeth a man and selleth him, all right? Or if he be found in his hand as in possession, right? He shall surely be put to death. Is that plain enough for you? All right, and I already read you, quoted you, Revelation 13, 9 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. All right? I told you they're going into slavery. Jeremiah 30, 16. All right? Therefore, all they that devour thee, all right, shall be devoured. What does it mean to be devoured? Destroyed. All right, two-thirds of Israelites can't even receive this truth because they are spiritually and mentally dead. They are destroyed. Okay? When you read Revelation as the 11th chapter in the 8th verse, we're going to get to that when we get to this other part. And it talks about the dead bodies lying in the street for three and a half days. And again, that's a metaphor for 350 years. We know that slavery lasted longer than that. We're going on 529 years from when Columbus landed here. All right? You understand, people? All right? And those dead bodies lied in the street. Okay? Well, they weren't dead. They're, they're not, uh, shall we say, uh, Cardinally dead. They are spiritually and mentally dead from the neck up. You understand? All right. Uh, so let's finish this off. All right. And all thy adversaries, you see that? All thy adversaries, right? The Lord only made 18 nations, right? So minus Israel, because Israel is going to what? Going to be the ruling class. All right. So the other nations are going to be in the kingdom, but they're going to be under subjection. They're going to be under us. Okay? They're going to be in captivity. Let's prove it to you. I've already read you some. Let's continue reading here. See, in all thy adversaries, starting with Esau, Edom, plus the other 16 of the nations, every one of them shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil in all that prayed upon thee, will I give thee for prey. Okay? You want to know what's going to happen to the other nations? We're telling you. The Lord is. It's right here in the scriptures. How about Psalms? How about Psalms 2, 8 to 10? All right? Ask me and I shall give thee the heathen. Right? Esau, Edom, plus the other 16 of the nations for thy inheritance, and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. And thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise. Now therefore, O ye kings, I told you we're going to be the immortal God, kings and priests of the earth. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth, because that's what we're going to be doing, judging the earth. You understand that? Okay? New sheriff in town, Yahweh Shai. All right? It all starts with him. All right. Uh, let's jump to uh, Revelations. Revelations 2, 26, 28. All right? And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. You see that? Verse 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, much like we just read in Psalms 2, 8 to 10, right? As vessels of a potter shall they be broken to sugars, even as I have received of my father. You see that? You understand? Remember, we're co-heirs to the kingdom with Yahweh Shai. Romans 8, 17. All right? Uh, what else? Let's close this out so we can move on to the other lesson. Uh, what is that? Back to Psalms 149. All right. Go to Psalms 149. All right. There we are. 
1049, 5 through 9. Let the saints, those are the Israelites, pursuant to uh, Psalms 148, 14. All right. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. Let's find out why. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. I repeat, to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. Okay? Esau, Edom, plus the other 60 heathen nations. They all benefited from us being in slavery. Okay? To bind their kings with chains, chingling, ching, ching, ching. All right? And their nobles with feathers of iron, cling, cling, cling. To execute upon them the judgment written. What's the judgment written? They're going into captivity. All right? So stop worrying about the other nations. All right? Okay? And this honor have all his saints. Who? The elect of Israel. Praise ye the Lord. Yahweh Bachim, Yahweh Shai. Let's go to uh, Isaiah. This is Isaiah 14, 1 and 2. For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy upon Jacob, that's the elect, all right, that remnant that returns unto him, all right, that's uh, pursuant to Isaiah, the 10th chapter, 20 to the 22nd verse there. And will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. See that? Is, is that what happened? Was, was Israel, did the Lord, you know, come in 1948, all right, with the chariots? Okay, did World War Three happen then? No, it didn't, did it? All right, people. So you know they're not the people, all right? And strangers, and the strangers shall be joined to them. The strangers here is talking about Israelite foreigners. We're scattered into all nations as pursuant to James 1 and 1. All right, and shall be joined unto them, and they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. Again, the heathen's not going to cleave unto us. You understand that? Only the Israelites, all right, all right, of the other nations, okay, all right. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord, Yahweh, right, by Shem Yahweh, for servants and handmaids. Who are we going to possess for servants and handmaids? Let's find out, shall we? And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Who oppressed us? It starts with the international banking families, Amalek, the Rothschilds, the Oppenheimers, the Rockefellers, the Cetra, et cetera, 13 for Amalekites and all, the Amalekites, all right? Esau, Edom, all right? There you go, all right? All right, people, we're going to move on to the uh, other lesson, all right? So uh, give me a minute. All right, we're going to watch a little bit of uh, Elder Apostle Taha's video here about the small hat. Big, big Nose, 1948er, who put this article up. And again, this article simply represents, all right, uh, slandering and demonizing, you know, again, uh, calling us, you know, the black Hebrew Israelites, all right? It's funny, they never talk about the fact is that uh, you have Israelites, okay, who are not dark-skinned, all right, but they don't, you know, they don't have nothing to say about that. You understand? So you see, people, this is just an agenda, all right, to try and demonize and slander uh, the Israelites, all right? All right, uh, let's play the video and get into some scripture, all right? 868, debunking the myth of the black Hebrew Israelites by David Nachman. And this was uh, put up February 11, 2019. And um, this was something sent to me, this article was sent to me by um, Apostle Rhyme Lab on my phone, and he just did a video on it a couple of hours ago. All right, let's get into it. Give me a minute. All right. You know, this guy, uh, Nachman, right? 
I believe David Nachman, um, he's saying that the curses don't represent us or things that we just use uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, as the only thing to identify ourselves, but that he's uh, debunking the fact is that, you know, it's talking about us. Well, you might as well say the whole scriptures then, right? Well, anyway, what does it say here? And the Lord shall bring thee, bring thee into Egypt again, with ships, a spiritual Egypt that's pursuant to uh, Revelations 11 8. Okay? Which the great city, America, Babylon the Great, he also denies that, you know, America is Babylon the Great. All right? So this guy doesn't know anything. All right? So the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. All right? And that's spiritual Egypt. America, Babylon, the great spiritual Egypt. We'll take you over there in a minute. By way whereof I spoke unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Right? Put up on auction blocks. All right? For bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. That word buy is redeemed. By the way, we were redeemed. Yahweh Shai died for the nation of Israel. Remember, he shall save his people. Matthews 121. John 316 is talking about the world of Israelites. And there are about another 30 precepts I can go to. Okay? So you people have no idea, all right, that John 316 itself is talking about Israelites, the world of Israelites, okay? Who the Lord had a covenant with, an agreement with, all right? You understand? He didn't have a covenant with the whole world. Okay? And guess what? The Lord never changes. Malachi 3 and 16. All right? 3 and 6, rather. So I'll keep you that. Malachi 3 and 6. The Lord never changes. All right. Uh, where was I here? Oh, yeah. Okay. You know what? We're going to end this here. We'll pick this up in part 3. All right? And we're going to get right into it. All right? So I'm saying Shalom, we'll be right back with uh, part three, all right?